Hi everyone, I am back with my live vlog. Uh, it's just me this time. I don't have a special guest. So tonight's topic is going to be about how to deal with rejection and also how not to deal with rejection. Um, rejection is a pr pretty regular thing in life. Um, you People get rejected from job offers, people get rejected from attending school, they get rejected from in relationships. And that's really the main thing that I wanted to touch on was uh, how people deal with someone that they're attracted to rejecting them. And you know, that's just a part of life to be honest. I have um, been rejected a lot actually uh, in various instances of like me being attracted to someone and say that they weren't interested um, but on the other hand uh, from a female perspective when I have rejected people um, I usually tend to get like a really negative response like I've been called a bitch I've been called like a cunt I've been called all of these terrible names and it doesn't seem like it makes much sense like someone uh, posted when I wrote this on my Facebook that I was going to do this topic tonight someone said um, that they felt that men dealt with rejection better because men get rejected all the time and they know how to cope with it better and from my understanding I don't feel that that's true I feel that men uh, tend to get um, irrational and they kind of lash out if that makes any sense and women you know I mean I know how I've dealt with rejection it hurts initially especially if it's someone that you really like that always sucks but I usually more or less get over it if it's someone you know that it wasn't that big of a deal of course it's not gonna be like okay oh you're really cute and then maybe they reject you then you get over it but uh, I feel like guys maybe they talk to so many women that um, they're so used to getting rejected on so many different planes I don't know I don't really know if that I don't really know if that um, if that makes any sense. I actually would like to hear from some guys about their views on rejection and why they may deal with it in such a poor manner uh, later on in the show, of course. So I have iLyrica in the chat right now, and uh, this was actually her suggestion for a topic. I'm interested in uh, why you chose to to highlight this specific thing why you wanted me to cover it as a topic uh, whenever you get a chance but I'm going to um, read off a couple of things that I found online and it was uh, 10 ways on how to handle rejection um, acknowledge that everyone is re it gets rejected um, because that is just life you know you get rejected everyone gets rejected sometimes it sucks um, and you know some things are harder than others I think the rejection that's probably harder to get over for me would probably be a job that I've really wanted because if I didn't get a job that I really wanted that has hurt more than like some dude not wanting to date me <laughs> because at least with a job I can make a lot of money but um I think in that type of stance separate from relationship wise I feel that if you know you're you keep getting rejected from specific jobs that you want or something like that it's just better to hone up your skills make them better fix your resume maybe um, get better references go through things like that from and go on a better job hunt a better more thorough job hunt that's the way that I usually deal with job rejection um, friendship rejection I guess would be a thing I don't think I've ever been rejected to be someone's friend so I'm not really sure how I would specifically deal with that uh, relationship rejection I think that um, you know I think that may be hard for some people if they focus solely on being with someone 
and if that's like a super main important thing to them is to date somebody but sometimes you have to just kind of step back and take a look at yourself and think about your your priorities in life because sometimes just being with someone isn't the most important thing and them rejecting you may have been a good thing because you may not necessarily even mesh well with that person. Sometimes when you see things that you have in common, it may not even necessarily be a good thing. So, like, you may have a couple things in common, but then once you get to know them, maybe they're not everything that you thought they were. Um, because that's happened to me a couple times. There are a couple people that I wish that I wouldn't have dated. So maybe if you take the time to just get to know someone instead of jumping into, you know, trying to be with them, that would change. Um, let's see, allow yourself to feel bad initially, which is kind of like what I said, um, you should definitely give yourself time to, I mean, you know, kind of feel hurt from the rejection from whatever that may be. Uh, obviously don't lash out at the person because that just makes you look like an idiot. If you're yelling at someone on the street because they didn't think you were as attractive as you thought they were. Um, like there was one time I was walking down the street and this guy was trying to flirt with me and I just wasn't interested. I was like, no, I'm cool or whatever I said to him. And then he was like, oh, well, you look like a man anyway, <laughs> which didn't make any sense to me because he had just hit on me. So like being irrational and stupid doesn't make you look like the bigger person. It just makes you look bitter and upset. Um, so obviously think before you speak kind of thing. Um, Let's see, what are some other points about rejection? Maybe even uh, talk it over with somebody. Get a friend and, you know, tell them that you're kind of feeling bad about this thing. And I, I wouldn't do this for, like, every vein of rejection because rejection happens a lot. But maybe if it was someone that maybe you had a crush on for a really long time and you finally told them and then they were like, oh, you're really cool, but I would just like to be friends with you, or, oh, you're really cool, but I have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever, then th I think those are more heavier instances because you've obviously had a long-standing attraction to them. Um, so, you know, talk it over with a friend and or, you know, someone that you look up to that could give you good life advice. Take some time to yourself and just kind of you know, play some games, read a book, do something uh, like that. So I have a post that I'm going to have to get really close to the camera to read from iLyrica. Uh, she says, I chose this topic because I deal with men and women on a daily basis who, ha who I have rejected, and they have called me a uh, asterisk, asterisk, or I'm assuming a just a word. From yeah, it is a word that is. They will not allow. They will not allow us to write. Um, a cunt, a whore, which I agree. Um, everything but a child of God. I myself also fear rejection, so I suggested this topic as a way for myself, as well as everyone else, to find a better, more productive way to deal with rejection, rather than responding to it so horribly. Um, whether it be a job, a person, intimate interests, maybe even a potential friend, rejection doesn't have to be something that has to be frowned upon because it's a daily part of life. But that doesn't mean to go all insane because you've been rejected. And that also doesn't mean that you have to fear rejection because it is bound to happen. That's very true. I also wanted to say hi to everyone else who dropped into the chat. Thanks for uh, joining, guys. So um, I completely agree, Ilyrica. That's you know, a very good reason why I picked this one out of all of the other topics to do because it is such a frequent thing. Um, I mean, it could even be as simple as you go to your favorite restaurant and you're like, I want this hamburger. And they're like, we don't have the ingredients for that hamburger anymore. Obviously, that makes you feel upset, but that's such a small instance in comparison to a longstanding crush or a job that you really wanted or a school that you wanted to get in, maybe. Um, let's see. Uh, don't take rejection personally. That's very true. Uh, no one should take rejection personally because humans are such different creatures and everyone reacts to things differently. Everyone doesn't have the same interests or attractions. So even though you may be attracted to someone or a certain thing in a person, they may not be attracted to anything that you have. And that's, you know, that's just real. 
people were born with person different personalities, different interests, and that's just a part of it. Um, I am definitely open for questions at this point if anyone had any other any questions about this topic or any viewpoints. Um, I think that this one is a little shorter because you know, rejection is such a base thing that happens so frequently. And my main thing is, you know, don't lash out on people that do that to you and just find a better way to deal with it. So um, if anyone in the chat has any questions for me or anyone in the room has any questions for me, this is the time. So I'll wait a couple of minutes or seconds until anyone comes through with something. Uh, let's see. Um, drop drop down twenty one says, "What is the worst rejection you've received, and how did you deal with it?" The worst rejection. Um, let's see. Okay, so I um, applied to this job to work on a television show, and I <laughs> built up my portfolio, and I like tried really, really hard, and I did all of this stuff, made my resume awesome, and I didn't get picked. And um, that really sucks because that's something that I would really love to do is do hair and makeup for television or film. Um, that was probably a really hard one for me. Uh, Relationship-wise, there was this guy that I really liked. And um, it was long distance, and I thought he was cute for the longest time. And I finally told him, and he was like, oh, you know, you're really cute, and you're really awesome, and you're super chill, but I have a girlfriend. And that sucked, but, you know, it happens. It's like, it wasn't a thing where I was like, oh, this asshole, did, you know, whatever. It's not that serious, because I thought of it in the way of that, you know, I spent so much time talking to you, now I can have a friend. You know, especially if you're rejected by someone that you see on a frequent basis. I feel like when people lash out, they tend to lash out on people that are, like, on the street that they catcall or something. I have rarely dealt with an instance where someone lashed out at me who I saw, like, every day. <laughs> so, you know, and that sucked, but... I talked it through with a couple of people and was just like, oh, you know, it really, it's, it bummed me out a little bit. But, I mean, you know, he's awesome. He's a really nice guy and he's a good friend. So, you know, you, sometimes when you're reaching for certain things, you get something else that may possibly work out better in the end. So, the, that's probably my worst uh, rejection stories. Um, and if anyone has any other questions, I'll hang out until... Uh, we start the Dive Kick Invitational, which is coming up right after my vlog, so you guys better stay tuned and check that out. Um, let's see. Anything else about rejection that I could point out there? Uh, that was kind of like what I just said. Oh, I do have something else. Um, what is the perfect way to handle rejection from Raina B? Um, let's see. Perfect. If we lived in a perfect world, then everyone would get what they wanted. But we don't. So uh, kind of along the same vein of what I was saying before, the probably the best way to deal with rejection is to honestly kind of bite your tongue and just feel, you know, Obviously, don't go off on the person, but just kind of, and don't bleed your emotions <laughs> onto them with, you know, even if you may be really hurt, just try to kind of chalk it up and just say, you know, try to make it a friendly ending to it. Don't go about things in a way where it will leave things hostile. You never want to burn bridges with anything, any job, any person, friendship, anything like that. You don't want to burn bridges. So that's all very important. Just, you know, keep things friendly and do something that will make you feel better, like immediately after, probably. That would be my suggestion. So I have uh, the, kooky, uh, the kooky beast. What advice would you give a person who has no sense of self-esteem about rejection? Uh, that's a really good question. So... I know that um, a lot of like a lot of people in their community or whatever different communities um, do have a really hard time dealing with rejection. Maybe because they're not very used to pe 
to the idea of flirting or the idea of uh, talking to someone that they may like or who may like them or whatever. It tends to be an awkward situation. So I think um, before you even try like dealing with any person on a serious relationship note, work on yourself. Find out, you know, like take a summer acting class or, you know, do something that can help your self-esteem because the key to talking to the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever you're into, is to have self-confidence. And if you don't have self-confidence, you won't get anywhere in life in general. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in the skills you have and the common sense that you have to make something finalized. Um, once you build up your self-esteem or you feel that your self-esteem is built up enough to talk to a person that you're sexually interested in, then go for it. You know, I think that that would be the best thing. Definitely work on yourself first, though. You don't want something to come out a certain way that you didn't mean it because that's never how you want to present yourself to someone that you want to keep around you for a long time. Uh, I have a couple other questions. I'm going to keep getting real close to the camera, guys. Um, let's see. What did, uh, yeah, uh, Raina B, what's the difference between rejection and not understanding that there never was a chance? Um, so I think that has to do with people not knowing boundaries <laughs> because Okay, not dealing, not being able to deal with rejection is, okay, a good example. There was this guy that I liked, um, this was a couple years ago, and he was not somebody that I saw every day, and I would see his pictures, and I always thought he was really cute, and I would always tell myself, oh, he's probably not even interested, he probably likes this kind of girl, or whatever, and once I just chalked up the courage to say something, he was like, I've always thought you were really cute, and he was like, every time I would see pictures of you, I thought that you were cute. I thought that he was on a whole other caliber, but you can't just assume what people feel. Um, the best thing is to be honest. Um, and just tell someone how you feel. That's the best. Um, that's the best advice that I could give. Um, knowing that someone is not in your caliber is uh, that's kind of like a really vain question, I think. But I don't think everyone could get somebody like who's a really hot, sexy girl that's out now. Um, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Okay, I don't think every dude that would talk to her ever should believe that they could get her. Say that she wasn't rich, she wasn't like this famous person, just based off of how she looks, just to be completely honest, we live in a society of image. So every dude that talks to her should understand that they're not going to be able to get with her. Um, and I, I think it's just kind of a common sense thing. Like, if you don't have common sense, then you probably shouldn't be trying to date people. Um, let's see. Uh, this will be probably the last one. Um, let's see. Um. Let's see. Oh, um, Drop Them 21 said, what happens when you lead on, uh, when you're led on and then rejected? Um, that's really hard. That person kind of just sounds like an asshole, just to be honest. And there are people that totally do that, where they'll just lead you on. And namely, I've mostly heard of girls doing this, which is pretty messed up, um, where, you know, the person kind of leads you on to being interested or they seem like they're interested and they get what they've wanted from you and then they ditch you or if you finally tell them, oh, you know, I've liked you for a really long time and then they say, sorry, I wasn't interested or, you know, I had this whole other arrangement. People like that don't deserve to be with anybody and they're probably just, they probably have done that to other people, if that makes sense. Um, I think that's going to tie it up because I can't go over for the next show. We have the Dive Kick Invitational coming up next for Wednesday Night Fights. And um, tune in. In a couple more weeks, I'll have another blog. 
And I'm thinking of a couple of different topics that would be interesting. Um, this next one may not even be about relationships. I've been hearing a lot about this cosplay show that comes on the sci-fi channel that I have yet to see and different how people feel about it and, you know, like it or don't like it. And I'm probably going to come back and talk about that in a couple weeks. Um, and make sure that you tune in tomorrow for uh, Jay Money's show about League of Legends and around the same time. But thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed. If you caught me in the middle or towards the end, I will put up the link to the archive or the YouTube video for it tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Thank you. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> Keep it down. Nope. Just the easy way? Just the hard